Firstly, I will say congratulations to my brother here. Thank you. It was a tough game, as everybody has witnessed. Uh, we tried our best, but we couldn't make it. There must be only one winner in this tournament. So congratulations to you. But I must say um, the boys have worked so hard to reach this far. And we hope we have learned a lot. Maybe next time we'll do it. Yeah, thank you. Um, generally, you are excited, you know, a bit emotional. Maybe it hasn't sunk in yet. Uh, but I think uh, in terms of uh, the target we set for ourselves, you know, uh, this morning we spoke about it, that uh, uh, our Bafana Bafana senior team, you know, that's going to the AFCON. Uh, they've gone as far as winning the plate uh, last season. So it was very important for us, for the national pride, uh, to come out of this tournament with something to look back on. So I'm very, very grateful for the players, especially. Uh, unlucky to Malawi, very, very good team, highly experienced team, highly tactical game today. I think maybe a game of two halves, you know, they opened us up, they gave us problems uh, with Mango peeling out wide and cutting inside. But we were prepared for that, you know. So on the balance of uh, the game, I think uh, it was always going to be a factor of fatigue. I think uh, we knew that they played so many games coming to the final, probably the sixth game, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So henceforth, you see in the later stages of the game, we changed the formation, mm -hmm. wanted to keep the ball more and wear them down. But uh, congratulations on the good work, coach. I think the future can only look well for, for Malawi. And for us, of course, we are grateful that uh, we take a lot of lessons out of this uh, tournament going into our Olympic qualification process. Okay. Well, I don't coach supporters, unfortunately. I'm in control of what I'm in control of, which is my team, you know, the players. So uh, we've made a, a call, an appeal, you know, uh, to the country to be patient, to support these young boys. Today, you know, was a, maybe a fantastic opportunity for them to come and see, close up what the boys are about. You know, playing on different venues, different surfaces, different experiences through the tournament. So, um, yeah, I can't comment on uh, the attendance because I'm not an events management man, man, manager. I'm a coach that coaches a football team, deals with players, and that's it. Thanks. No, no, not actually. Uh, I said it always that we want to uh, give everyone a chance as far as possible uh, so that, you know, the players are tested out of this tournament. Uh, of course, we didn't achieve that entirely with some of the boys, you know, uh, not having had enough minutes that one would have liked. So um, on the balance of what was in front of us today, an experienced team in uh, Malawi, the desire to want to retain the plate. So, uh, yes, we made few changes, but, you know, uh, continued with the guys that have started probably the first game to, to, to try to get the rhythm of the team and also see indeed against a very experienced team like this, do they still tick the boxes or not? So, yeah, on that basis then, we know where we are, we know what we need to, to fix or improve on going forward. So I think I'm excited and happy for the boys in terms of the performance they gave out here today. And of course, and like I said, for me, it's more about the lessons we take from a tactical organizational point when we defend, when we attack, what to do, when and when not. So, yeah, fantastic. I think we would be ready for Zimbabwe out of these tests that we've had in this tournament. Ah, you can look at it negatively and say, you know, the boys will tell you, I said to them, we haven't won a game in 90 minutes, really. We had Botswana, you know, uh, the door was supposed to be shut. We didn't. But we've scored goals. You know, uh, we came in here, work on our organization, in, uh, especially the defense organization, the transition phase. So I don't want to be hard on the boys. We had chances today, you know, uh, we didn't take them. Maybe elements of fatigue. So overall, yeah, I'm happy in terms of the ability to score goals. I know that we can convert the chances, but it's something we have to work on, obviously, going forward. Uh, we all know that it's a South African uh, virus, if I may call it that, not scoring goals in football. So we need to find a cure, you know, uh, in training or, you know, go into the database and search more for players that can score those kind of chances that we are creating. But I'd rather go to the training ground and fix it first at the training ground. Okay, 
No. Uh, yes, he came in as a replacement, but this is a very integral part of this core group. Um, you know, he had a brilliant season at Cape Town City, as I said, having played 34 games. You know, and um, uh, we brought in Kawhelo uh, Sekota from Portugal to try to have a look at him in terms of what he's doing that side and what he can do for us. So when the opportunity came to, you know, bring in gift links, he came in at training, he already showed the spark, you know, and we said, let's go with him and see what he can give us. So I think he was fantastic, as we know, good boy, workaholic, fantastic. You know, yes, technically at this level, in certain moments he can improve, but I think uh, the future looks good for him going forward. So I'm happy that we are able to give him so much game time and he's responded very positively. Yeah, look, okay. Mondi is not a revelation in my opinion. He's our number one keeper. Yes, in this tournament, maybe it's shown that he's ready to step up onto bigger things against uh, uh, some of the teams, senior teams, as you see Malawi, as you see some you know, teams came here with preparations for Chen. So in terms of his club football, it's always the challenge you know, that we have. But uh, we're hoping that he can get more game time at his club, hopefully uh, when the club coach sees his performances in this tournament. He draws confidence and inspiration to really throw him in, and that will help us, of course, going forward. So uh, I'm happy for Mondi in terms of how he's responded. And uh, at this point in time, yeah, he's our number one, if I put it to you like that. So it's to then look deeper into the database to see who is then there to push Mondi, you know, uh, in terms of this age group that we are dealing with. Yes, I can say the situation is still the same. I'm the interim head coach. Uh, the tournament is over. Now we'll hear from the FA what they're going to tell us. What do you think It's up to them to decide. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think, Coach, if I have to give a vote of confidence and uh, to Malawi and FA, you have mine definitely. <laughs> And hopefully they've seen the good work that we've put up with this team uh, going forward. You know, uh, without opportunities, of course, yes. we can grow as African coaches and show our uh, medal in terms of the abilities and the knowledge that we have. So I hope uh, you get a thumbs up, as I'm saying. And coming back to your question in terms of, uh, yeah, the outputs of the tournament, obviously we'll sit. Uh, we haven't really had... Uh, direct discussions with uh, Coach Stewart in terms of uh, possibilities of which players here would be joining the Afghan uh, camp when they go to Egypt. But I'm sure that uh, there's a few boys that have raised their hands. You know, Kamhailo um, um, Mahlats is sitting here, Grand Magaman, Mondi Mpoto, Luda Singh, Tebuo Mukwena, Atim Kosi. So it's a good headache, I think, for, for myself and uh, Coach Stewart to, to, to really interact on that. But like I said, it depends on um, uh, what are his needs, uh, one. And of course, he's already indicated that, and the boys know that uh, uh, being called up to go to AFCON doesn't necessarily mean that uh, they are going in there to claim a stake in terms of uh, selection for, for, for the matches. However, the point of departure is more to give them um, experience and integrate them slowly so they get to experience what AFCON is like, you know, and uh, uh, we hope that uh, maybe instead of two, maybe it's three, maybe it's four, I don't know. But that question will be answered on Monday. Yes, uh, we, we brought in those guys just to beef up the squad. We, we brought uh, under 23s with us. So we said now we wanted the, those players to have that experience to help the, uh, the other players who are coming from Malawi. So I can say, yes, they did their best to, to help the offense. Mm 